now today i have a very interesting stuff to show you actually i have this thing called battery capacity capacity tester and i just got it from ebay this is a very useful stuff if you do some power bank and battery stuff actually i had so many of these 18650 cells with me lying with me these are just took off from laptop cells laptop battery cells i just thought of repurposing these in the power bank and but the main problem was i didn't know actually how much capacity these are left with obviously these cells just lose their capacities after being used in laptop cells and so i just needed to test these actually this device came up with me there is a an another dummy dummy load i'll show you on the screen there that is on the market that that is most popular you'll see every other youtuber using that but i just went for this one this one i found it very fancy actually and it just does three purpose three in one this one is also a battery capacity tester a dummy load you can see here the mosfet that creates the load here this one a typical heat fan and heat sink here and this one the load adjust thing resistor variable resistor so i found this one nice enough i'll show you how it works and i'll try to demonstrate every feature of it hopefully now what this can be used for the main question for, for that arises you can use this for several uses purposes first of all it's a dummy load so you will definitely need this for testing the capacities of different kinds of lithium ion batteries even they are not lithium ion you can use this now second i found find this useful in is th these power banks if you buy these power banks and if you need to just cross check whether they are of right capacity or not you can use this like i'm showing you if you put this in here now the third third purpose you can use this is if you have a power adapter that you bought from any shop or whatever and you just want to cross check whether these successfully give the amps what has been guaranteed here you can use this just test this up to their boundary limits so now i'll show you how to use this one this specific model actually this this is named wuzi wuzi zk fx 35 35 watts it's by the way it's 35 watts full capacity that simply goes up to 7 amps of 5 volts so let us just turn it on try to turn it on the most important uh, point of this load tester is that is that this is this doesn't power on power from this usb a port it needs its separate power connection its separate power supply this way it gives accurate readings if you try to measure capacity of any battery i have this usb what do we call this is a micro usb from my power brick i'm going to connect this with here you can see it's just turned on now this unit is ready to 
measure anything whatever you want to this was my point that it needs a separate power supply to operate it doesn't takes power from this port this is main to be connected to whatever you want to measure for an example i'll show you here is a power bank let me put this out here is a 2000 mah power bank that i have with me and if i connect this to here you can see it just shows here the voltage reading whatever this power bank is giving out 5.16 volts so here you can see that it's reading something like 5.16 and 0. Point with this resistor dial you can set the amps to which this dummy load right now it's working as a dummy load so whatever amps you want to draw out from this power bank you just rotate it just don't uh, right now look at the top one the volt the look at the amps that's going if i rotate this this goes up and up and one amp let's do it 1.5 amps we are just drawing out 1.5 amps will be drawing out and here it's on and here it's on you can see here the lights have just turned on if you can see here that simply means that this uh, load meter is just drawing out 1.52 amps from this power bank and there are so many stats that you can just see here, here we can see that it's drawing out 7.99 whatever 8 watts then if we 0 0.35 ampere are right up to now it has just drawn, drawn 3.7 0 0.037 amp hour and it's been one minute 41 seconds 42 seconds here it's just time and it just fan just runs when this heat just this MOSFET becomes hot enough to cool it down so yeah we can see that here 1.52 now let's try to increase the amps just to see that up to what limit this power bank can deliver you power this by the way this just guarantees us 2 amps of power let us see how much 1.6 1.7 1.8 1 1.9 voltage is still stable 1, 5, up to 5.1 volts generally when the power bank becomes totally exhausted the voltage begins to drop so up to 2 amps it's just drawing out fine let's increase it more still fine now the voltage has be begun to drop a bit 5.0 and the amps we are drawing is 2.2 amps and it has begun to drop now significantly as we raise amps yeah now 4.8 volts 4.4 4.3 at this stage you cannot charge any phone 4.3 volts it's just you useless so this can deliver 2.5 amps very successfully and 2.7 amps we are at 2.8 and now it has just like the low voltage limit so 2.5 amps is the we can we just saw from here this was the amp test mode of this 
dummy load now if we go to statistics we can just see that it's showing something up to whatever time the second function of this that is the capacity measurement how to measure capacity of cells or batteries here you can see there are two screw ports these are just here if you want to connect any separate batteries or cells like I have you just need to connect the positive and negative maybe solder it or whatever and through the wire you can just put it here screw it here and you will be having just that and that will be convenient that is convenient for you to measure different kinds of cell not just something like power bank that have a USB port so this one is useful for it and now let me show you how to just measure the capacity of a power bank here we plug the power bank and again you can see just 5.18 volts displaying here now first of all let us go through all the parameters and make sure that it's zero out zeroed out watts nothing is being drawn so zero ampere are yes this needs to be zeroed out if it is not just press this minus button for a while it will be zeroed out and then next is the timing yes it's all zeroed or zeroed out same procedure if not if it's not zeroed out just press this minus button and back to our ampere display the power bank has again went to standby so let's turn it on yeah we have 5.18 volts coming out and just we just do it to 2 amps just for the sake of now you can see that it's just running the light has came on and it's drawing something let's go to menus it's drawing 10 watts from the power bank and this is the most important display while you are measuring the capacity it's just going up 10 11 12 and this is how you measure the capacity it will take time this is not going to be done in one minute or two minute the battery the power bank needs to be emptied out in totally so that this just shows the capacity total capacity it is <coughs> so eventually you will just see here whatever comes like this thing this thing is 20,000 milliamp hours that means it will show 20 amp hours here whenever it will reach maybe 2 or 3 or whatever because my power bank is in fully charged and by the way these power banks aren't just the 20,000 milliamp is the rated capacity of the cell inside it after conversion loss and heat loss after it's just just there and it's not efficient 100% efficient you'll get something like 13,500 mAh out of these power banks So we saw this is how we just measure the capacity of power bank from this load tester. Now let me tell you about the go through the features of this uh, one by one. 
all these buttons what they do whatever function they do now this is the default screen you will be on whenever you turn on the device you can see here you can just adjust the ampere whatever now to run through the menus you just slightly press this on and set button whatever is written on set button if you press this for like two seconds you will just reach in the main menu where you can set various parameters like you we have raised here lbp that means low voltage protection now this is right now set at 1.6 volts that means that whenever you try to put any cell battery or whatever from this USB A port and run the load up to 1.6 volts this will measure everything measure its capacity measure its amperage and whenever when the battery drains out it reaches the 1.6 volts limit this will beep and alarm you we can set here you can see from minus or plus pressing it you can set it. you can raise like if you have a lithium battery you are mean to set it up to 3.0 volts because below that the lithium cell can be damaged now the next menu you just need to press the select button this is OVP now comes OVP this means over voltage protection you generally don't need to worry about this OVP because you know if you connect a big battery or anything like that then you need to worry but we are working here mainly with uh, lithium cells and so but if you are working with those if you know over voltage you need to set that now if we go next it's like OCP this means over current production now comes OPP that means over power production OTP over temperature production and OHP OAP you just need don't need to worry then this is important part this means calibration of voltage now here the above you can see that there is 0 0.07 volts off from the zeroed out now you might be wondering why is it because I have calibrated it up to it now calibration here means that often these uh, digital displays doesn't display the right voltage or amperage current so what you need to do is to take a digital multimeter if you have with you and just match those readings by pressing these plus and minus buttons that will give you an accurate reading now we're back to its back to the menu